it's been a dream for quite some time. Um, but funding was always a problem because I knew I had big ideas and big ideas don't come in cheap. Uh, they are expensive ideas, I would say. Ever thought of starting your own school and then run it as a business? Teacher and entrepreneur Radhika Lee did exactly that and started the Nairobi International School a little over one year ago. Miss Lee has been in education for more than 25 years. After many years working as a teacher, manager and principal, she finally decided last year, now it's time to do it my way. You know, I always wanted, you know, if only I could have my own place and it's going to be a lot better because all the, the obstacles one faces while trying to convince your employers to do things differently. Um, I thought it would be nice if I could have my own place and I can then run it my way. After a long period of uncertainty as to whether the project would succeed, finally Miss Lee got lucky. She found an organization that was willing to help her in financing her dream. That uh, I needed to source for money. And um, initially it wasn't easy because though everybody believed in the, the proposal I put together, all the banks were like, this is an excellent proposal. And then the second question is, so do you have your own land? Do you have collateral? And I'm like, no, I don't have any of the above. I just have cash flows, basically, projected cash flows. Um, and I know it's going to work. Um, I, I know for sure this thing has to work. But, you know, banks look at what you have. Um, there's, um, if there's no collateral, then they're not interested. The financing for the Nairobi International School came from Grofin, an investment organization that is a little different to a normal bank. At Grofin, we specialize in providing finance and business development to SME businesses that are small, small and medium enterprise businesses. Uh, what we look for is viable businesses and we look for entrepreneurs who are committed to their businesses and who are believing in their business but have got challenges in getting finance from the traditional sources of finance such as banks and their main challenges being that they, do, they lack adequate collateral and track record. So we look at the businesses and see the viability in them and we invest in them and in addition to investment we believe that businesses need just more than money to succeed and to grow their businesses so our business development services involves us working with the entrepreneurs to enhance their management skill our main focus is the viability of the business is there a good business case? And the entrepreneur, is this entrepreneur committed? Do they have the adequate skills to run this business? Do they have a passion and a drive to really run and grow this business? So that's what we look for, viability and committed entrepreneurs. This is our art studio. And, um, you know, kids get to do work here. And even the balcony, it's really a wonderful place. Grofin invested 725,000 US dollars in the Nairobi International School. In order to pay the interest and make the school profitable, more students needed to subscribe, because more students means more income. To achieve that goal, Miss Lee has developed her own marketing tools. And for that, we are doing uh, promotions. Actually, we're doing a lot of. Uh, uh, you know, mall activations. Um, we go with our virtual classroom to um, places like Village Market and Junction, all the big malls in the country, basically. Um, then we also do um, embassy visits so that um, and NGOs and uh, UN offices, uh, we go meet with the placement officers there, we talk to them, we do presentations of our school there, and then we invite them. We've had uh, at least three or four cocktails so far um, for people to come in and have a look around so that they know that this is a facility that we offer um, and it's value for money. Okay, this is a new block that's come up for the labs and um, home science room, labs and uh, a few more classrooms because I know in the next couple of months more kids are going to come and we needed to accommodate them. So, 
Yeah, our middle school kids pay around two thousand dollars, and uh, the secondary, the higher secondary, pays about two thousand five hundred dollars. That's our fee range between two thousand and two thousand five hundred. So, oh, I'm I'm definite in the next few months. You know, we'll have these rooms kind of filled up. Yeah. Eventually, it will be a big business. Schools can't go wrong. At least not in Kenya, I know that for a fact. Because no parent um, wants their children to stay at home. Uh, whether we have inflation, high inflation every year, or the recession has hit the whole con uh, world right now, but uh, kids are still in school. And parents will always do whatever they have to, because Kenyans, I know, believe in educating their children. That is priority. And definitely kids will come to school and they're not going to keep them at home, no matter what. Have faith, and if you have that passion, and uh, you know this is something you've been doing, don't be afraid. I mean, just go for it. You have to take risk. Otherwise, you'll just be stuck. Always a teacher then. And that definitely I didn't want, yeah.